Hello, sweet friends, and welcome to my channel, Crafting with me, Indiana Jones, and I will be your mistress for Christmas. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but it's fun. Anyway, I'm here today with a quick, a little, fun and easy a craft idea for you to use plaid products. If you think you don't know plaid products, I am sure you do because I'm sure if you're a crafter, you've used one of these products. Now, I've been a plaid ambassador for six years now and I've been so proud to not only promote these products, but to use them in my projects. These are the, some of the products that I'll be using today. So let's take a look. Plaid sent me this wonderful holiday starter kit and I wanted to share with you my box opening. I'm always excited when I receive products from Plaid. Now they have started with these stencils, they have these ornaments, a Christmas tree, nutcrackers, they even have snowflakes and a, a, a deer and a reindeer and of course some signage so it's about everything you might need to create some holiday signs or even other projects now they gave me a stencil brush and of course these wonderful bright colors the blue the green red of course extreme glitter what a way to get the season started sparkly and shiny and of course some silver and gold metallic paint as well as the basic white i have everything i need to get the season started right For my first project, I'm going to start with this galvanized sign that I had in my stash but is still available at the Dollar Tree. I was so excited to get started with this folk art matte red paint. Now, believe it or not, I didn't have to use chalk paint. I didn't have to use a primer. I did have to, you know, use the paint twice, but it's amazing how well it stayed on this matte paint. It's almost as if it was a chalk paint, but I was very, very pleasantly surprised that after just two coats, it really did cover all of that galvanized steel. Now, I thought this was a perfect start to get a, just a small little sign. Here, I'm just drying it with my little dryer. But after that, it was so easy to use the stencils. And first, I had to use the deer stencil because they had these wonderful stars that reminded me of those, you know, mid-century modern type of look. And as you know, I'm going for a retro look this year. And this was just so much fun to use. I thought I would get started with these little stars um, using silver, actually the metallic silver paint. And again, I was very surprised, pleasantly surprised at how quickly the paint covered. And this stencil brush was perfect because it was a, a bit smaller. So I had more control over where the actual stars appeared. But again, you can mix and match all of your stencils. And again, this is a great starter kit, especially if you feel that you're not artistically inclined. There's nothing that hard about using a stencil and making yourself feel very proud of your final product. Now I'm using the Seasons Greetings signage because I thought this was a perfect size for this this little, um, the, I just the stencil. And I thought green would be perfect, but you'll see that Glitter Girl here was not just happy with the, the green. Although it's a beautiful green, I think this is called Christmas Tree Green or something like that. I really love it. Hold on, let me look at the colors so that I can tell you the colors. The red is actually, I can't read it. It's apple red. Now I can read it. <laughs> it's apple red. Although it's, I think it's more Santa red to tell you the honest truth. And the green is called classic green. And let me tell you, it is absolutely classic green. Both of these are from folk art and both of these are the matte versions of these paints. Now, there are all different types of paints and so many colors that if there's any project that you're thinking of creating, believe me, you definitely want to check out plaid paints. They sell them at most hobby locations like Hobby Lobby or online like at the plaid family of products. I'll have the link to all of their products down below as well as my Amazon affiliate link. You can also buy them on Amazon. So it's very easy. And look, you can tell that the I love the stencil because it was very easy to use and I didn't have any bleed through. Even though your girl here is pretty messy, 
I'm sure you've seen that. But now I decided to get glitzy and glamorous with the gold sparkle paint because it's it's extreme glitter. And if there's anything called extreme glitter, you know I'm going to use it. So again, I'm just I didn't move the stencil at all and just stenciling over with the extreme glitter on this beautiful green color. And I think it turned out so fabulous. There's no limit to your creativity using plaid products and you can tell right here that I'm very happy with the way that this sign turned out. Now here's another little sign that I had in my stash and I got it on clearance like 90% off or something because it was all messed up. Oh my goodness, it was such a mess. But I sanded it down and then I got it ready for another sign. Now at first I thought maybe I should use another season's greeting or noel but and then i remembered i had these beautiful ornaments and if they're not the epitome of something retro and vintage i don't know what is so using my white matte paint again it is so good look at the coverage i was really impressed i didn't think it was going to cover it so well just the first time around i did use two coats just to be absolutely sure but look at this i was really surprised you can't see the lettering at all i did sand down the top of it so if there was any bumps or any kind of raised lettering you wouldn't see it through the paint now once i had the white paint all covered and dried and ready to go all i had to do was use my stencil once again now some people recommend to use some painter's tape and that's a good idea now i just decided to hold it down and i really didn't have any problem with you know the, the stencil moving around or sliding around it was absolutely perfect and this little stencil brush was fantastic to get into the small areas without bumping into the other areas that i was painting so here i am just stippling with my brush and that's that movement that goes up and down up and down and it's the easiest thing to do this is such a wonderful gift set for anybody who's starting out crafting who's just a, you know, a beginner crafter, who's afraid of crafting, who's intimidated by it, or like a family. This is a great way to get your family together around the table around Christmas time or even Thanksgiving and say, you know what, instead of watching TV, let's craft a little. And everybody can create their own thing. And again, if they're not used to crafting, this is a wonderful way to get beginners to get excited about crafting. It's so easy and fun to do and with so many stencils, everyone can really create something beautiful and unique. Now this is a starter kit that has the, you know, the best basic colors for you to get started, but you can personalize this to your own home decor. You can use pastels. I'm going to create this again using some of my pastels to match my retro vintage mid-century modern theme. But this looks so beautiful. I really, really like this stencil most of all because Again, you can personalize it and change it up in so many different ways. And it can actually act as a backdrop or a background to the, you know, the Noel words or even the season's greetings. There's so much you can do. So there's no limit to your imagination. There's no limit to how you want to create with the plaid family of products and again not only do they create folk art paints they also have apple barrel paints and cream coat they also have the mod podge family of products if you haven't used mod podge where have you been i love mod podge and of course so many other different products as well as some, as some sewing products so is if this is your introduction to the plaid family of products please meet the rest of the family it's time to get together. They're all getting together for Thanksgiving and sitting around the table waiting for you to come and craft with them. <laughs> I know I'm silly. I know, I know I'm weird, but I'm just having too much fun. Now I'm finishing up this wonderful ornament. And of course, are we gonna stop there? No, we're gonna add some glitter. So using my gold extreme glitter, I'm going to glitz up that little ornament and really make it pop. It's so easy if you just don't move the stencil, you can add the glitter right on top. And they have all different types of finishes that you can just add on top of your paints. 
Now, whenever I'm working with a stencil, the best part is when you have the final reveal. And oh my goodness, look at this. Can you imagine you can create your own little, your own little greeting cards or gifts, or this would be a wonderful gift for anyone in your family who's just getting started with their crafting. So please check out the links down below to find out more about Plaid. And if you're a fellow crafter, ask me how you can become a Plaid ambassador yourself. As always, stay safe, be kind, God bless each and every one of you, and remember to live the adventure and come back for more Christmas adventures coming very soon.